Hey guys, so a friend of mine asked me to print out a few um, images on my 3D printer and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Um, so you might do it yourself or just for common knowledge. So let's get started. First off is opening up Fusion 360. Oh yeah, and uh, this is uh, the images that uh, I'm planning to 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 uh, draw in Fusion 360. But first off, we're starting Fusion 360. It takes a little time. Okay, it started finally. <clears throat> and um, first thing is we will create a sketch on this plane, it's the top plane, there I will draw a line that is about uh, 30 millimeters. Um, this way I know how big the sketch is and I will insert a canvas also on the same plane select what and bunny bunny inserted moving bunny around and like this moving it up a bit doesn't really matter but i just like it to to be somewhere here then i can see it's only half the size approximately so let's scale it up to what 1.5 maybe oops do it in this one 5 1.5 a little more 1.9 bunny no 1.7 1.6 Five. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, that's strange. Okay, uh, one point two, two, point three. Well, one point three. Oh. Yeah, something like that. Okay, and. Then I will start to outline it. Mm, by doing lines. I will zoom in. My mouse is acting up. There. 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 Okay, we are done with the lines uh, on the outer rim. Now we will start on the other lines. Just need to sh boom, 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 show no, no constraint stuff. Okay, and that's the bunny. I'm just going to remove that line. Uh, yeah, and see, yes. So 
then I'm extruding bunny and I think maybe we should make it what two millimeters high maybe hmm or maybe a little more so it so it's more rigid two point five millimeters high There we go. Then I'm gonna turn off the canvas. And there's our bunny. Awesome little bunny. Awesome little fella. All right, next up is um, slicing this. So, uh, and that basically uses this model um, and turn, turns it into something that the printer can actually print. You do it by exporting. Let's see. Let's call this bunny. 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 And save as STL. Turns it into this wireframe mesh. And okay, where do we want to save it? Let's put it alongside all the other 3D prints in a folder called Animals. Save it. So now it's exported to a standard format that describes this structure. We will hide Fusion for now and then I will use Prusa Control to slice the model. Here we go. That's it. That's the slicer program. So what you do is you open up a... yeah well, just a normal explorer window here. Find the 3D print uh, still file you made. You have a bunny there and then you drop it in. Turn it out. Rotate it on the x-axis. What, 90 degrees? Yeah, there we go. Um, let's start off by just having normal line height generate. Um, two millimeter line height is or layer height is basically how tall each layer should be. Um, the higher the layer, the uh, the better you can see the the individual layers on the final print but I don't think uh, it matters in this um, print so I'm gonna save some time by um, choosing a high layer height uh, this print will take four minutes that's not a lot um, <clears throat> All right, we click the save button and then I will put it into a G-code folder. <clears throat> this file is actually what we will copy to the printer in a little while. I will just create a new folder here called NML. Go in there. And then I like to, just for my own reference, put in some printing details here. 2.2, four minute print. Save that. All right, now we have <clears throat> the files we need to actually print. Um, next up is copying the print 
the print file, the G-code file, to a SD card that I will use in the printer. And I will use my phone for that part. But first off, I'm going to find the SD card. Got it. And um, so basically I've created this little program that um, will copy the file for me from the folder I saved the g-code file in. So when I insert like this, it should start copying and it's created a file and a directory. So I just pull it out and then we're off to the printer with my mobile phone as recording device. Okay, and we're off to the printer with the SD card. Let's check it out. Here's the printer. And we'll just go in here with the SD card. Like this. Card inserted. Let's start printing. Print from SD. There we have the folder I created on the PC. Oops. This button is a little wonky. Animals. And bunny. Then it's starting bed heating. The, this bed here needs to be warm, so PLA sticks better. And we're just gonna wait for it wait for it and down here you will see the print printing part that's the yeah that's gonna be 200 degrees something 205 i think 215 see the temperature rising there Up there and the one underneath it is the bed it will be 55 degrees um, now while it's heating here sometimes it will ooze a little um, from the nozzle. The nozzle is down here. You can see it there. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There. So that there is the nozzle and it's uh, 200 degrees. But it doesn't look like we have any oozing right now. it starts first off it measures um, the distance from the nozzle to the print bed so it can put in the each layer correctly onto the surface And in the old days, this process was manual and very tedious, I hear. Tedious. Um, now it puts down a line here, because it oozed a little bit. So, whoops, there we go. And then it starts printing. Layer upon layer upon layer. Maybe you can better see from over here. I noticed that this ear over here of the bunny is actually lifting off um, off the build plate 
and that might result in a failed print. Um, and I think it, it has a fine height now, so I think I will just go ahead and stop the print. So, I'll just stop the print there. Just stop the print. And here we have the little bunny.